Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. I'm loving your music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Uh, we just ended a pigeon hunt, and Gerald, he's like, Bob, hey, 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 bud, why don't you fly your pigeons? I don't know. Time to try it. It is time to try it. One got out the other day, and uh, he stuck around on the yeah. shop, and I'm like, you know what? There's been a lot of you saying, Bob, fly your pigeons. Today's the day. Today's the day. Let's see what they do. Let's go. They're going to get out, and they're going to fly around. We're gonna see. I'm kind of nervous. I'm actually real nervous. I've never let them all out. This is a big thing. Um, I've had these pigeons for a long time. The white ones, they've had, uh, what, two rounds of babies? Uh, Mama, Mama Redbird, she's had at least, I don't know, probably three rounds of babies. And we had, and one important thing that kind of makes me nervous, we got three sets of babies right now. Surely they should come back. And they'll come back to feed the babies, sure. So that's a good thing, but I've always wanted them flying around. I think they'd be pretty. I think the, the kids would like it. And uh, we're at the point now, got an open spot. Yep, big open spot. Oh, hey, hey, Tristan, how you doing, bud? What's up? <laughs> we're, just gonna, well, we're just gonna open them up here. Yeah, unfortunately, the big door. Should I get in there? Yeah, just shove them out, we'll stand back. Come on, guys. Oh, oh, you have to watch out, Tristan. You're oh, gonna push them, yeah, or you can open those back doors too, just so if they go out, they know that they can get back in there. Yep. Open that door, Tristan. I'm trying. Uh, there you go. How do you do it? Like this, right there. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, there went one. Right. Where's he going? Oh geez, so oh, there he goes. All right, go ahead. Oh, we got one landing right there. Oh, 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 Whitey. They, they're not gonna know what to do. Oh geez. Oh. Now we'll have to stand back. Oh, there, there he goes. He's like, hey, I don't wanna leave. I'm just going to go land over here, too. Yep, we got one standing over there. I've been nervous about doing this, but I think they're going to get a good flight around. Look at them. They're loving flying. They haven't flown forever. Look at that. What's your ultimate take on it? I love listening to wing claps. All right. And they take off the... Oh, look at them off. flying around. It's awesome. But there we go. I've never flown my birds. See them ever. circle? That's a good sign. Look though. at this. Yeah, they're circling yeah, good. Right there. Oh, yeah. They're, they're like, dude, this has been so long since I've flown. What do I do? <laughs> Girl's like, Bob, just fly him. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, they haven't flown forever. Let's, oh, look at old Whitey up there, old young and already ready to go in. Tree. I bet if we get out of the way, they're already laying back in the, uh, back in the loft. I can relate with this guy here, though. Hmm. Make it about 20 foot and be like, I'm tired. Whoa. Well, we're gonna sit here and watch my birds. See if they fly for, they're loving flying. I'll tell you that right now. This is cool. It's real cool. I'm glad we did this. Well, it's been like right at 10 minutes. How many are in here? None. Oh, Just that's not good. Is. None? Oh, no. <laughs> Yep, check it out, old Whitey up there just a chilling. These birds, so Jordan made a really good point. Um, they got up, and when they got up and flew, they all they all immediately wanted to land. And uh, if you think about it, they've been cooped up in there, and they are lazy birds. Uh, they have no physical stamina, and they're really clumsy, like a lot of pigeons and doves you'll see be able to backpedal and land exactly where they want precise without no effort nah my birds are clumsy they they don't they can't land on nothing this guy's standing in the worst spot he could ever choose look at it he didn't even he's not even standing on the ridge they know nothing they're they literally they just know nothing easy pal <laughs> easy <laughs> 
Jordan was like, yeah, by noon tomorrow, if they're not all back, well, and I'm like, okay. And I'd say half are still gone, and we don't know where they're at. Where do you think they're at? Good guess. <laughs> I bet I bet most of them are here on the property still, just with this little bit of flight they've had in the last year. They're probably pretty tired. Some are probably taking a breather either in trees, on the ground. They'll make a run back here. They might not all make it back in the coop, but they'll they'll be around. I bet tomorrow morning you'll have them all over the place. I bet you so. Whew. Well, it is uh, the next morning. Back here at the shop. Man, we had a party last night. We got down. <laughs> we... We uh, we had a fun time. It's gonna it's gonna be a good season uh, when waterfowl season rolls around with Gerald and Tristan and Jordan. Uh, but I've made my way out to the shop again, and I don't see any birds on top of the lodge or on top of the shop. Let's go see if they all made it back in the loft. Last night when I went to bed, there was like th only three in there. So let's see what's going on. I was really nervous about letting them out, and Gerald was like, Bob, just, just let them out, bud. They'll be all right. Well, there's some white ones in there. Right on. Right on. Let's close this for a minute. May not be a good deal, y'all. Oh, no, not good. We got one white one. We got three birds in here. The three that were in here last night. Oh, there's one. There's one there. He wants back in. We'll get in there, man. Come on. I was afraid of this. I was afraid of this. See, the uh, bad thing is, and what I'm afraid of, we got babies. We have two, three, four, five babies on the ground right now. And uh, that being said, old babies, they need their mamas to feed them. So, we got one up there. Hopefully that's one of the mamas. <laughs> It might be, but our other full-grown uh, pure whites, I have no idea where they're at. Clark, I have no idea where he's at. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I guess uh, by the end of today, tonight, if they're not back in there, we might have lost some birds. What do you do, you know? I've had a couple of them get out before. And all I did was just circle, circle, land on the roof, and then eventually go back in. Uh, I've had so many of you say, Bob, you gotta fly them. They've been in there forever now. You gotta fly them, give it a go. And uh, here we are. And either, either A, they're just not used to it at all and, and they don't know what to do, or B, old Clark, I don't know where Clark went. I think he vomit I think Clark, I think he's gone. Our main bird, first bird, ever trapped we might have lost him darn it but we're gonna let it bake here uh i'm gonna get some food i'm gonna throw down some fresh food for him see if i if i can entice him to get back in there i'm gonna get on the golf cart here a little bit make some rounds around the property and see if we can't spook them up and try to drive them back in there if they're not on the property i would say that we have no chance in he double hockey sticks in getting them back <laughs> you know Last night, Gerald was like, you've had those birds for a long time. I'm like, yeah, Gerald, I have. I certainly have. And I put a lot of time into them, feeding them, watering them, raising them, breeding them. But I think it'd be cool to have them flying around and just buzzing around constantly if they come back. <laughs> well, it is literally every bit of three days later. So everything has panned out, leveled out. And now I know exactly where we stand with the pigeons. I have one heck of a plan if you can't see it behind me. But before we get into the big scheme, my big plan here, I got to show y'all something. Ho, ho, ho. Check it out. Yeah, buddy, the duck seasoning is finally here, y'all. And let me tell you, I have put this on everything from steaks to pork to chicken to pigeon to fish, and it is amazing. When we call it all meat, that's what we mean. It's good on all meat. The seasoning, this bottle here, will be available June 1st. Make sure that you grab you some after June 1st, on June 1st, pick it up. A lot of people have been asking about it. Here's the situation. So, we have one, two, three, 
four, five, six. We got six pigeons back in the loft. Now, couple things. First thing, my white male birds, the pair, I've seen one, maybe two of them flying around, so they're still hanging out. I believe they're over at the neighbors hanging out in their trees. For two, this is my odd deal. Look at this. So I put food in here with this door open, as you guys seen, and I shut this little gate here, kind of left it halfway open in case one of the white birds or any bird, Clark, we're still missing Clark. Clark, vamanos. I think when he got out of here, he literally just, he beelined it somewhere and I don't know where. He, that boy's gone, I have not seen him. But as you can tell, there has been birds in here. Check out that water. It's nasty, it's got poop in it. All the food is moved around, pecked at. There's been birds coming and going out of here. So first plan of action, check it out. So idea number one, oh yeah. We put the trail camera in here. So now what I'll be able to see the time of day when these pigeons are coming in here. So if they are, it'll tell me whether or not I need to rig this door so I can shut it while they're in there. And when they're in there, it's gonna help me trap them that way. So that's number one. Number two, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm using the trap that one of y'all sent me. Yep, this is your homemade trap. Remember, Beth and I, my wife and I, we unboxed it. I'm putting it up here because the pigeons, they love to get up there, bounce down here, and want to get in there. So maybe, just maybe, we'll trap them. Haha, -ha, there we go. We're baited. I'm using whole corn so it's really visible so they can see it. Got a little bit out here on the entrance, a little bit on the pedestal where they need to be walking in there worth a shot it's worth a shot because i know in fact that there is at least one to two birds i've seen them every day flying around we gotta try we gotta try six is back in here i think we're missing three i had nine total so i mean it worked i mean we, we got six back in here but the these three I, I don't think clark's coming back he was a wild guy at heart and i just think he's gone i, I have not seen the likes of him but the two white ones, that's the ones I want back. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about the babies. Uh, this is what we did here. Beth actually moved. The baby that was up there, mama has not returned up there. So we moved them down here and we got both babies there and we got both babies there. Now, unfortunately, one of these babies we did lose. And as you can tell, Jordan, <laughs> That band that we shot in the last pigeon hunt, he threw it on this white bird, so he'll be a special bird. What pigeons are back in here, they're loving it. I don't know if they'll ever want to get out again, to be honest with you. Them being loft birds, they like being in a the loft. They're pampered. It's just like when it's just like when you go to a luxury resort or hotel and you get pampered. They get fed, they get watered, they get pampered here. They don't have to go look for food or water. So I'm hoping we can have some luck trapping the lost ones, but the ones that are here, they obviously want to be here. So thank you guys for being here. Uh, you guys have been requesting more and more and more pigeon videos. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what pigeon videos y'all want to see. I'm pretty excited about this situation. Hopefully we have some luck. Y'all got to smash that thumbs up button. Come on, wish us some luck here. But thank you all for being here. Thanks for being interested in the little farm that's going on. We are getting ready to build a pond. Hey, by the way, huge, huge, huge shout out to my homie Garrett Johnson for dropping off this thick, huge, big old roll of pond liner. You know what that means. Subscribe if you haven't. I've probably said that before. Smash that little notification bell down there. Huge, huge shout out to all my notification squad members out there. Y'all are amazing. Thank you to everybody being here. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism.